guys, Marisha Ray here with Mingle Media TV's Red Carpet Report. And we are at Voyeur in West Hollywood for the Diamonds Not Fur charity event. And they are supporting the fur-free movement in West Hollywood. Let's see who else here. Okay, so Charlotte, what is it about this event and this campaign that just really drove your interest? Um, I just don't believe in wearing real fur. I think that if people really knew how many animals uh, are slaughtered for one coat, I don't think they would really ever consider buying it. I, I did an uh, anti-fur PETA campaign a couple years ago, and I, I used that time to really educate myself about it. And the more you learn and, and read about it and really see pictures and realize what, what goes into it, I don't think, I don't think most people that, have, that, that love animals, and most people do innately love animals, would ever buy anything like that. And I love fake fur. I wear fake fur all the time. I think it's really warm. I think you can still be on trend and be hip. And um, there, there's such high quality fake furs now too. So really, I think that there's no reason for fur. And I think particularly in LA, it's, come it's on, way too hot. it's embarrassing. It's like 90 degrees out here. My fake fur is really hot. Yeah. So, I mean, there's, there's no reason for it. I, that's the thing that people sometimes think though, I think, is it, it, because, oh, I live here in this cold climate, I can wear real fur. Right. I really think that that is a cop out. It's because a bad excuse. It's a bad excuse. I really, I really think so. When I walk in on Fifth Avenue, I see someone in a floor-length fur in New York. Right. I'm not throwing paint, but it really pisses me off. Yeah. <laughs> because it's you don't need it. You can have a really great fake fur one. So I've you worn think fake fur, and people think that it's real all the time. Yeah. So you think West Hollywood now, and New York next? I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. That'd be great if we don't have it here and then we don't sell it here. Don't you think? I think it'd be a dream come true. It would save a lot of animals' lives. It'd be it awesome. would. Is there any other type of animal rights campaigns that you're a part of? Almost all of them. <laughs> you know, the more you get involved, the more it, how hard it is to kind of say no. Uh, I've been involved with PETA. I've been involved with the Humane Society of the United States, um, SPCA, the Genesis, Jane Goodall. I'm a big idol. Right. I just love her. So um, I believe that animals just need more of a voice and some basic rights. It doesn't mean you need to be a vegetarian or a vegan per se, but just let them live humanely and if, if have to be killed, then killed humanely. That's all. Right. So, Now, Charlotte, going back a little bit more to your career, what else can we see from you here in the near future? <laughs> You're so good. A lot, of, a lot of glee gossip going around? There is. There is. It's so funny. I was talking to Corey the other day, who was on the show. Um, and I was talking to him like this, you know, about the business. I found out he's 30. I'm like, I thought you were a child. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> He looks like a child. No, I, it's funny because I've been on the show since In the LA, beginning. there's no age. It's just an age range. Right, no. right, right. No, he's a sweetheart. But anyway, uh, no, I just had a movie come out on DVD opposite Ray Liotta called um, Street Kings 2. I play his wife. And then I had a movie that just left the theaters. It's probably hitting DVD now with uh, Nicolas Cage uh, called um, Drive Angry 3D. Awesome. Well, we'll definitely be looking out for it. And thank you so much, Charlotte. And have thank fun you. tonight. Thank you. You too. Careful you of the awesome. mosh pit. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'll try and survive. It's busy here. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. Okay, thank, thank you. you. So much.